Hey guys, Youngblood with you, and we're going to summarize the Around the Verse from August 3rd today, and it's going to be a pretty quick one based on the changes that they're making to the format. The new format is removing the studio update temporarily to allow for them to really focus on getting 3.0 out, so they don't have to worry about filming and getting things ready to talk about, and instead having ATV focused in on one core piece of technology. Now, they still plan to do another round of updates in a new show called Burn Down, which should come out every week, uh, where they're going to be filming from like meetings and overviews, and basically you're going to be a fly on the wall to see what they're working on, what blockers they have. Um, but that's going to be something that's coming later, and I'll be sure to cover those as well. Now, the game mechanic that was covered in this episode was regarding secondary viewpoints, which is a new technology using the render detector system that we've seen mentioned before regarding communications with the others, um, like ships and people. But this is more in a holographic rendering for you to see. Now, they kind of think about like this being like Darth Vader and the Emperor talking via their holograms. Um, the goal here is to move past just audio calls and really get it to a point to where you feel attached to those people that you're communicating with because they're presented in a cool and new 3D display that's eventually going to be tapping into your ship screens, your mirrors, and your visor technology later on. Um, they're going to be using the uh, render to texture system to tap into different texture layers to make the resolution change the closer and further away that you get from the screen. And for things like sp screen size, um, those things are going to play a part in the overall display as well. Um, this all makes the system basically pretty easy to implement with the exception of player interaction. So it actually needs to have an additional layer added on top of it, basically a new system to manage you hitting buttons and using your pointer. What this all means is that it takes what's supposed to be displayed and allows it to show in-engine and can adapt from 2D to 3D as needed and to be seen from a variety of perspectives. So this new technology is in active development, but it's basically in a pretty usable state at this point in time, but it's going to need to continue to be worked on and developed to allow for other pieces to be added, such as reacting and displaying different um, things based on the environment, like having a smoke-filled room or different lighting conditions. So that's basically it for this episode. Um, as we move forward, I think more of the interesting information is going to be coming from the new Burn Down segment, which I'll be covering in a lot of detail. So let me know if you have questions. Otherwise, stay tuned for more, and have yourselves a wonderful day. Take care.